Greetings, beloved light warriors. It's Sarah Toga, and this is your weekly focus card reading for the week beginning January 11th through January 17th, 2021. And if you're new to my channel, you should know that I do this every Sunday so that we can reset our focus and our energy for the coming week ahead. And then I do my on-camera videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay, so let us get into this week's reading. This is an angelic message, you guys. Um, as you can see, it says, be honest with yourself. Now, I'm going to read what this card says um, because this is an interesting card. I usually do these readings as a collective, larger reading related to um, spiritual awakening and ascension, but you can feel free to take this message as it's written as a deeply personal message to you from the angels if you feel that that applies. And then I'm going to be talking about it at a much larger, more collective level. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you in case you can't see it on the video. It says, be honest with yourself. A message from the angels. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength <clears throat> to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So that is a beautiful message. Um, I, I want to mention too that um, I always put the name of the deck and the author that I use, I always put it in the description below in case if any, any of you guys want to know what the card of the week, what deck it's from. So you can always look in the description to find that out. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a beautiful message. I think it's absolutely appropriate for the times that we're in. <clears throat> I'm going to speak about it in a larger context. Um, I also want to mention that on Wednesday, January 13th, we have a new moon, um, which is also perfect for new intentions and new beginnings. So what I want to do first is I want to focus on the phrase, be honest with yourself. To me, for this reading, this represents being true to your heart, being centered in your heart, because that is really the only way to be honest with yourself. I mean, where do you go to be honest with yourself? You can't really go in your head if it's filled with a whole bunch of thoughts that you have acquired from other people and other outside sources. Then you're wading through all of those thoughts and beliefs and trying to figure out what the right one is. You really can't, that can be a real struggle to find out what is really true for you. So if you want to be honest with yourself in the deepest sense of the word, you need to go deep into your heart. You need to go into a meditative state. You need to have quiet, sacred time to yourself so that you can feel you, so that you can go beneath your breath and feel yourself. And this is more important now than ever before, because as you know, our world is, seems to be descending into more and more chaos, more and more confusion, um, more and more stress. A lot of people are really on edge, feeling a lot of anxiety and uncertainty. So it's going to be very difficult to find the answers you're looking for on the outside. The only place that you're ever going to have total certainty, you guys, is within yourself. Because see, a lot of times I think we don't really want to um, turn to our inner selves because we think or we misinterpret that that means, oh, but I'm all alone, you know, what do I know? I'm just, it's just me by myself. How could I possibly have any answers? But here's what you need to remember. It says, trust yourself. It doesn't say trust yourself, actually. It says, be honest with yourself, but I'm actually thinking, Look at the first sentence, look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. That is something you can trust, right? So you can trust yourself when you are honest with yourself, when you are connected to your heart. So being honest with yourself is a place of deep sincerity. Um, sincerity that it, it means it 
that your experience of your inner being is not tainted by negativity. It's not tainted by all of the confusion that you see outside of yourself. Now I want to go back for a moment to what I said about not being alone. You're not alone because your heart, as I've said so many times, is your gateway to the universe. Your heart is your connection to omnipresent love, to the presence and power that literally created and sustains you every single moment. It's your connection to that which literally breathes you and holds you in place inside your physical body. You're not alone. You are in the intimate company, the infinite company, of that source energy that creates all that is. It's so close to you. See, this is the thing, you guys, it's so much a part of us, it's so close to us, that we almost don't even realize it's there because we have this false identity, this ego, that causes us to get displaced from the truth of who we are, which is a manifestation of that source, which is only love. And then, see, let me point something out, you guys. The ego is the thing that's alone, okay? The ego is completely separated, it's isolated, and it's alone. So when you think you are your ego, which is kind of how the world demands we live, right? You're gonna feel like you're alone. You're gonna feel like, well, I don't have any answers. What doesn't have the answers is your ego, okay? Your ego doesn't have answers. Your ego just, here's, here's where your ego gets its information, okay? Your ego is like a vacuum cleaner. It just vacuums up all this stuff from the external world. It just, it just creates, and it has this assortment of all these beliefs and ideas and projections from other people and judgments and all this junk. And then sometimes we can be misinformed in thinking that, um, we're going to find truth in that mess, right? We're going to look through that mess and we're going to try to find a truth. And we can't find it because when we're looking for real truth, it's probably related to a feeling that we don't yet know what that truth is. So when you're looking through that mess that your ego, that mass of junk that your ego has accumulated all your life, you're not going to find anything new. And you're gonna feel like, gee, I'm just so alone. I don't really know anything. How am I supposed to find any truth in this mess, right? So it's important to understand that due to the nature of this earth and how everything is structured here, we operate through this weird kind of avatar called the ego identity, which really doesn't know anything other than all the junk it's adopted from the outer world. That's not where you want to go because the moment you orient yourself there, you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel like you don't know anything. You're going to say, what truth is here? I have no idea. You need to shift away from that. You need to be aware of it. And by the way, that is really the, the source of the voice in the head that talks all the time, right? It's the ego. You need to shift away from that. Go beneath your breath, relax, take some deep breaths, relax, feel your body, come into your body, become fully present. And then you may not feel everything all at once, but this is where knowing what resonates with you comes into play. Practice more and more being in resonance with your heart, being in resonance with yourself, your real self not the ego, okay? The ego doesn't have resonance, okay? It's not even there. The ego just has agreement, it doesn't have resonance. You wanna find resonance in your true self. So the beautiful thing about this message, because it is a message from the angels, is that, you know, the angels are saying, we will support you, we will help you. All you have to do is ask. Just remember to ask for the support of your angels, okay? Because when you are in the presence of your angels, they are going to automatically start to align your vibration and align your consciousness with the truth about who you really are. That's just what, that's just one of the things that they do. That's one of their influences that's so beautiful and so positive. Now, I wanna take a look at the image of the woman on this card. And you'll notice she has her head covered and she has her arms folded over her chest. 
So what this says to me is she is actually, um, this symbolizes protecting your heart, protecting your truth, and also protecting your mind. We need to be very protective of our consciousness right now. And I think this is a beautiful image uh, that represents that. We need to honor the sacred space within. We need to keep it pure, unadulterated, and untainted by all of the external chaos going on. So I look at this image and to me, this, is, this really shows um, or depicts honoring and loving oneself enough to protect one's own heart and protect one's own mind, okay? So notice she has angel wings, which symbolizes when you do that, you will be able to move through life at a much higher level. You will be able to move through life at an ascended level because that's what ascension is. Ascension is really about bringing us back to the level where the angels are, you guys. That's what it's about, okay? So this is a very powerful message. It's very clear. Um, it is so important right now because there is so much craziness going on around us. But what you have within you, when you are honest with yourself, meaning centered in your heart, oriented in who you really are, you have a light within, you have a strength, you have a presence that is untouched by all this stuff going on around us. Um, I'm just trying to think if I want to talk more about this message. I want to mention the new moon. We, have, we do have a new moon on Wednesday, January 13th. It's in Capricorn. I'm not an astrologer, so I don't really talk about astrology, but just in case you wanted to know, it is in Capricorn. So new moons are always wonderful for new beginnings. And this one in particular is good for setting a new intention. So that fits perfectly, perfectly with the message from this card because we want to set a new intention. See, here's what happens when the world is in crisis and in chaos like it is right now. The first thing we naturally try to do is get our bearings. Like, what's my direction? What, what should I be doing, right? So if you follow um, the suggestion from this message, which I always interpret every message as a suggestion because we do have free will and it's up to us whether we want to take that message or not or take that suggestion or not. Um, if, you if you set an intention from your own truth, from what is really true for you, what is real for you, the energy of that new moon will support you in the best possible, highest possible direction for you. So you can think of it this week as a week of setting a new intention, a new beginning, resetting in the midst of all this craziness and this chaos, recentering in the midst of all this craziness and chaos. And you know, when you really look at it this way, it's not complicated at all, right? Okay, so let me look um, just a little bit more at what the words say. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angel's wings. Your true desires. This is so important because this, I won't go into this too much in depth right now so this doesn't get too long, but this really gets into the principles of the law of attraction because in order to have a desire manifest, you have to be emotionally and really in a way spiritually invested in that goal, in that idea, in that intention. So true desires would be that which is in alignment with your heart, with your, with your deepest level of sincerity. It, it's in alignment with you being true to yourself and who you really are without all the external influences, rules and regulations and all that stuff. 
Those are the desires that are most likely to manifest when you align with yourself at that deepest possible level. The reason they're most likely to manifest is because you will be able to emotionally get behind them. You'll be able to emotionally back them and your emotional energy is the power that brings those desires into manifestation. Okay, so think about that. Think about putting this all together. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. What is this situation? Let's just say this situation is wherever your life is in the midst of this larger chaotic world that we live in and whatever all of that means to you. You will know the truth of this situation, meaning the truth for you as a light worker. Maybe it's about your mission. Maybe it's about who you are as a star seed. Maybe it's just about you as an awakening, evolving human being. Okay, so um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's a beautiful message. And just um, take to heart the image of this woman protecting herself as a sacred being. Like she's not going to allow any influences into her heart, into her mind, that are in any way gonna taint the purity and the truth of who she really is at the highest possible level. That's what those angel wings represent. Okay, so I think that's it for this week. I'm wishing you guys an awesome, beautiful, peaceful week of feeling centered, clear, and enlightened within yourself with the powerful light that is who you really are. And I'm sending you all so much love. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have an awesome week, everyone. Namaste.